In this video, I'm going to explain exactly why patience is your greatest asset in modern times when it comes to women, when it comes to dating, when it comes to literally everything. Now, let me break this down right quick. I did not have shit for a majority of my life. I had to be very patient. I had to go and live so many years of my life in a way that you don't really want to. I mean, but you have to. You can't just be gifted everything. It's not how it works. You have to go without as a man, especially when you're young, for a long, long time long time and it's gonna feel even longer than it actually is because you're kind of in the suck of things you're just in that groove you're just in that rut like i had to live in a very small one bedroom apartment for four and a half years it was almost five it's a lot of your life that's a lot of your life and I had to do it. And I wanted to get out of there sooner than that. And I could have. I could have. But I was patient. If I rushed out of there, I don't live in the home I live in today. Zero percent chance on that. I don't have the things I have today. Zero percent chance. And I'm not saying I wouldn't have anything else that's good because I would, but not as good as I currently have it. No chance. Nothing good in life, guys. And this is the whole point of what we're getting to here. Nothing good in life comes so quick. Nothing. Nothing. You're looking for trouble if things come so quick. Let me tell you something else. When I was younger, I hustled a bit of weed with my boys made fast easy money I'm talking I had cash bro my wallet was literally overflowing with hundreds and twenties and everything else overflowing I had cash stacked at home in in cases like not huge cases but just like like a case I had cash stacked I had money And just as fast as it come, it left just as quick because it was quick, easy money. And I also got out of that stuff pretty quick. I did it for a year straight and I stopped for years and I did it one more time again for a year straight and stopped again. I never got greedy. I never stayed right in it and got greedy and made all this easy money. I got in, I made a bit and I got out. But it's still no good. Because just as quick as you make it, you lose it just as quick. Because that's, that's what happens when things are way too easy, bro. If you're dealing with a female and it comes way too easy, I guarantee you she is useless. And I'm not saying this to be some mean prick. I'm being 100% serious, bro. If you're dealing with a female and it comes so easily, so fast, so easily, so effortlessly, what do you think that is? This is exactly why, as for men, even women, your greatest asset is patience. Women have to be patient to a degree, but women have to be a little bit more cautious of their patience because you don't want to be patient in your 30s and 40s and 50s. Manless. Like, you just don't. Women have to get shit going quicker, but they're also given gifts quicker to get the shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's not even that they turn so ugly and hideous at 30 or 40. There's a lot of women that's actually very good looking into their 30s and 40s. It's the reproduction process. It's reproducing is the issue here. Like, there's a chance you can't even do it in your 30s. Can you? Yes. Even at 40, there's a chance. 
but the odds start to go down. That's why it's a big issue. So women have to be patient to a degree, but you got to be careful how patient you're being is the thing. Women can afford to be a lot more patient when they're 19, 20, 21 years old. They can afford to play hella games. They can afford to do it. And as a man, the last thing you want to do is be young. Knock up some girl you don't even know that well. You might have even dated her for a year or two and you end up getting her pregnant, bro. Majority of the time, those things come to an end. A screeching halt. Most of the time. Because you weren't patient. You jumped to the gun. Bro, I have friends right now. that are 27, a year younger than myself, and they have a kid, and they're not with the girl. They weren't patient, they made a mistake. But they have their kid now, and they don't view them as a mistake, and it, it definitely happened for a reason. But, not with each other. You don't want that life. It's going to cause more problems. You want to be ready for everything that you get yourself into in this life. There's a lot of things this guy can't do because he's held up because of that, bro. You don't want that. If you're going to have kids, for one, you want to make sure it's the right female. Like, you want to make sure. And you want to be in position to do it. You want to make sure you're good. She's good. You're both on board. You can make it happen. Maneuver just fine. Let's say she has some family. Let's say you have some family. You can even have some time to yourself because you can give your child sometimes to your parents, some of your family, some of her parents, some of her family, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say. And it's going to give you guys time. You don't want to put yourself in a position where you're going to be on mommy or daddy duty 24-7. You just don't. Unless that's what you really want, and who really wants that? Not, not many people. I know I don't. And it's not that I don't want it at all. You just don't want it every second of every day. You don't want that, bro. I, I, I can't have that. I got too much shit to do. So, this is why patience, as a man, is so important. You have no idea how important patience is. And I've already explained a lot of things as to why it's important. Even be patient with the females you deal with, bro. She ain't going nowhere overnight. She ain't going nowhere in a week or two's time. She's really not. Sometimes you can go weeks without talking and it's only going to make things better. If you start talking again, trust and believe me when I say that. It is. It's only going to make things better. And sometimes shit like that happens. Sometimes shit tests happens. And sometimes that's just a process you have to go through. And it all happens for a reason. And you have to have patience in these processes. Don't trip. Live your life. Enjoy your life. Train. Eat well. Sleep well. Work hard. Do your chores. Do your shit. Have a good time. Enjoy. She ain't going nowhere. If she's really for you, she ain't going nowhere, bro. And if she goes somewhere else, she wasn't for you. You're not compatible. Because if you were, you'd be with her. And if that doesn't work, something else is going to work along the line, eventually, because you were patient. You kept composure. You did exactly the things you should have done. Is what you did. So patience for men, especially, is a virtue. It's going to pay off. And let me explain how, if you're not patient, how bad things can get. Like... 
let's say if you're that younger guy and you're just going out partying and you're trying to get these girls all the time, it's okay to do that every now and then. But if you're just doing it all the time, you're not patient, you're thirsty, you're trying to get these girls all the time, you're spending way too much money, you're buying girls drinks because you're trying to get them so hard, what do you think is going to happen? These guys, bro, end up doing this into their mid-20s, late-20s, into their 30s, and all of a sudden, they have nothing to show for it. They are bum losers, bro. They have nothing to show for it. They literally have drinking problems now. They're not healthy. They got nothing good going whatsoever. Their heads are not on straight. They're still trying to do the exact same shit. They're getting left behind. Because they weren't patient. They were thirsty. They wanted the thrill. They wanted the party. This shit happens to women too. Women that want to party far too much. They don't want to get nothing going seriously. With someone they probably should. They got greedy. And you know what happens? Nothing good. So you guys have to exercise patience. Chill. Do what's right. And chill. Everything that's meant for you is going to come. Everything. And it could come any single day. You're like, bro, life changes so fast. So drastic, so fast. Things just happen. Things just come. There was many unexpected things. That was both good and bad. That has happened for me in my life. Both. Not just unexpectedly a whole bunch of good things happened. No. Even more bad things. Things you didn't even possibly think could have happened. Can happen. And good things happen as well. I've got lucky a few times in life. I've won prizes. Like, not lottery tickets, but like... I won a free go-kart before when I was younger. I won, you put your name in this thing and your name gets pulled. And I got picked to be like when I was a kid, like the stick boy for a big ass hockey organization. Like they're, they're, they were called at the time the PEI Rockets. It's like a league or two underneath the NHL. But I went on the bench with them. I got a free stick. I warmed up with these guys and I was like a young kid who was playing hockey myself, but I was a young kid. These guys are grown men. So I, I, I got lucky a few times in life like that and in other ways as well. But <coughs> <coughs> I also got very unlucky when it came to certain things. I even genuinely believe, bro, like there was girls I was with before, even long term, like, Things were bad, like, bro, bad, bad, bad timing. Bad timing. Because if not for that, I genuinely believe I could have made things work with certain girls that I was with in the past. But then again, everything happens for a reason. I eat, bro. I, like, bad timing can ruin things, like, severely badly. Like, very bad. To the point where you don't even want that person no more. Which is what happened to me. Like, the opportunity came back around. It was not the right timing. I just did not want the person back. That's what I'm saying. Bad timing can wreck a lot of shit. And it all happens for a reason. Our lives are literally unraveling day by day by day. By day. You never know what's really going to come next. You never know when something terrible is going to happen. If you don't think something terrible can happen, you're naive. Bro, some people get born into the most terrible situation possible. Starving. Poverty. You get a brain tumor. You get some sort of rare disease and you're done. You're done. You're dead. Like, really bad things can happen, but good things can happen as well. You just, you never know. Life's unpredictable. 
something could fall through my ceiling and my roof and just crush me like a bug. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know if something's going to fall from the sky tomorrow. It could. Don't take anything for granted either, and that's kind of the point I'm making here. Don't take anything for granted. Embrace the tougher times. Have patience. Have thick skin, alligator skin, to the point where you can get cut and you don't even bleed. Like, practice all this shit, bro. Life can be very good. It can be very cruel. I was on both ends of it. And you really never know when shit's going to pop off again. You never know. You could become an overnight celebrity. You could become an overnight homeless person. And being homeless overnight might not happen, but you just get the point. And I just think if you do everything that's right in your power in your own life, and you have patience and you practice patience, you would be surprised what you can pull off when it comes to women, when it comes to all those things. Your, your life, your life situation. Like, it might be smart for some of you guys to live in a very cheap place for a while, stack your bread, get ahead, big time, big time ahead, <laughs> stick it out even an, an extra year and really put that stamp down and then make a bigger move. Your future self would thank you so much for that. Myself as I sit thanks myself for that. Because I could have been out of the place that I was in that I had to live in for like four and a half to five years. I could have been out of there in half the time, even less than that. But I stuck it through. I kept doing what I had to do. It's important to have patience. Very important, guys. Especially with women. Like I said, don't expect her to go anywhere overnight. And if she does, she ain't yours. Like, she wasn't even close to being yours anyways. Not even close. But if you feel a genuine, hmm, there's something about that girl. She has that something that you actually like. You can be patient with a girl like that, and if it's going to work, it's going to work. But you have to have patience. You can't overextend yourself. You can't try harder to get stuff going with them. Literally be patient. Be as calm as a clam. Clams are pretty damn calm. Just... You let go of a result in your mind. You let go of trying to get something going. Like, bro, if things ain't happening naturally, let's say she's giving you some shit that she's giving you a hard time or something like this. If things ain't happen naturally, that's when you have to start to let go and be patient. Because you're going to give her time to breathe. You're going to give her time to think about you even more. Women like you more when you literally get away from them. It's crazy, but it's the truth. They're like cats. If we, let's say if we owned a cat, I don't own a damn cat, but let's say if you own a cat, if you're trying to smother that cat all the time, it's going to hate you. Like literally hates you. It don't want to be around you 24 seven. It wants to be able to do its thing too and, and go around and, and do its shit. And if you pay no attention to your cat and you're just living your life, your cat's going to start coming up to you, walking between your legs, touching with its tail and its body and coming up on you, bro. That's what's going to happen. So you pay her no mind, you're living your life, you're completely unaffected, you're literally calm, so calm in your demeanor, and you're living your life. She literally sees that and she gravitates towards it like, like magnetic, like she just, there's nothing else she can do. It just makes her want to. But if you're so on her, no, she don't really want it. That's why you have to have patience in these situations. They're make or break situations, bro. She don't want some guy that's going to be locked on her like Lou. 
And to be quite honest, the reason why guys do this in the first place, it's not because they want diamond attention from her. It's not because all that kind of stuff. I'm going to be honest. The reason guys might come on sometimes strong to a female is because he doesn't trust her. He doesn't want to lose her. He doesn't want to be made a fool of. He doesn't want to get cheated on. He doesn't want her to go with somebody else because he thinks that's what's happening. If she ain't dealing with me and if things ain't good, then that's what's happening. That's why guys will come on strong. It's not because they love you that much. It's not because they want to see you that much. They just don't want to get cheated on. They just don't want to get left. They don't want to be made a fool of. And I know what that shit's like. But I have never chased a female. Where are you going, baby, baby? All this, I, I never have. I literally never have. I was discouraged when they would leave, when they would ghost, when they would pull back, when I was actually with these girls. It, it was discouraging. It hurt. But I didn't go after them. Yeah, you, you just got to let them, bro. Like, what are you going to do? <laughs> There's not much you can do. And the sad part is, sometimes you try to save them from making that decision because you know they're going to regret it. And they end up making that decision and they do certain things and they ruin it. And they come back and you just don't want them. Sometimes that's also why guys will come on strong and try to like let them know like if you do this, it's done. It's over. Like, because it will be. It will be done. It will be over. But you can't even do it, bro. You can't even do it. You have to let her make that mistake. It, that that's this is a situation that's just not going to be meant to be. It's just not. There there will be something else better for you. There will be a better and more ideal situation for her as well. There's so many people on earth, bro. There's more than one special person. Let me tell you, I've come across at least a handful or two of like women I would view as like special that has that vibe that has that like feel like and it's not just like you see them on social media it's i'm talking real life like you were kind of dating them at one point you were kind of with them at one point but there's there you don't come across that many every now and then you come across one and that's what i'm saying there's many and the right thing will be meant to be and this goes back to what we're talking about in this video this is why you have to have patience play it cool don't trip just be cool live your life and let whatever happens happen that's it